Let's talk about coaching, how it works and why would someone pay real money for it. Coaching is when you come to an expert in some field, who develops solid qualifications or skill and trade your money for his time and experience, while he trains you in the area where he is relevant. VFA 7 so-called coaching is a completely different thing. First is the guy has no background and no achievements in any game, he was never a pro player. The only game where he got achievements was Half-Life where he played under name Biggie, was caught cheating multiple times in competitions and ended up being banned. His biggest achievement is using cheats while getting raped by top players. He showed his loser personality when instead of apologizing for cheating he talked shit about his opponent and falsely accused him in cheating. So for background we have a loser, who has no skill, no morals or principles. Second, is training in the field where you are relevant. Amos 7 does not train people in any game that would quickly expose him as he is completely irrelevant, instead he sells Kovacs and routines. He claims that by grinding his aim routines for 10,000 hours you are gonna get good in the games they are designed for. This is nothing but a scam. First if you really wish to waste thousands hours in some aim trainer for a false hope of getting good in some game, you have the mentality of a loser, and a total failure in life. There are thousands of better options to spend time in life on. Kovax is a waste of time and money and does not actually improve your skill in any game. Kovax players are trashed in most games for being retarded bots, and playing Kovax for hundreds of hours causes irreversible brain damage together with a cahoring disease. Top 5 Reasons Why Kovax Is Useless 1. Aiming at targets while you are non-moving is absolutely useless as in majority of games you will be moving. In games like Quake moving very fast. 2. Aiming at targets that have patterns is useless, real humans do not have repeatable patterns like in so-called aim trainers. 3. Aiming at bots is the worst thing you can do to train aim in any game, where you could play actual humans. 4. Aiming at targets that don't hit back is absolutely useless, as real enemies will hit back. 5. No Kovac routine is punishing you. There are no items, there is no map control, you cannot make a mistake for which a real player would easily punish and destroy you. Your percentages hitting Kovac are absolutely irrelevant to aim or gaming skill and power. A dominant majority of Kovac top scorers are absolute shit in actual games and never get in the top. Aim 7 as a guy without principles or morals targets kids and minors that are easily manipulated and influenced. He sells them a lie that they will get good in whatever game is popular if they use his aim routine. To gather attention of minors he praises their game and their skills by saying Fortnite is the greatest game and children are the most talented people. Literally a 35 years old adult man pretends to be someone qualified while selling to 13 year old kids a TXT file, with some Kovac 2 hour a day grinding routine for $45. The whole of EF Discord is a scam Discord that participates in this business with minors. His stat padding girlfriend VF Sirius licks aim a 7 butthole, talking about his fake achievements, and this is done for marketing purposes. Aim a 7 pays back with saying how Sirius is the best aim in the universe. Stat padding girlfriend Sirius with his 46% aim loses in aim arena to Lantic with 29% aim, who is just a random retard from CPM the community. Aim 7 will find a way to monetize any game by his retarded claims that everyone needs to train aim for particular game and training Kovacs. The peak of this devilism was when they made a routine to train on ball hitboxes for Diabetical, despite the Diabetical actually having cylinder hitbox. Ask yourself, do you actually want to get strong aim and become powerful in games? Go and buy Quake 4 right now. On sale it costs 3 to 4 dollars. There is no point in training aim and gaming ability in noob games with low skill ceiling. Games where everyone can hit and where it is easy to hit are not a way to go if you wanna get truly strong. Avoid noob games like Diabertical, Quake Live, and Quake Champions. Focus on playing dual and TDM mode. 
play versus real opponents. Start with playing beginners and sometimes play with stronger opponents. They will destroy you badly but this is invaluable experience that will teach you more than hundreds hours of Govax or Clan Arena. Playing 3 hours a week in Quake 4 is gonna give you more benefit than playing 6 hours a day in noob games. Take Govac and Ballstat Badding Princess serious, they have obnoxious amount of time spent trying to get good in FPS games. By the most modest estimates VF Sirius spent over 15,000 plus hours in FPS games. Quake 4 is a first FPS game Sanchez ever played. Sanchez played 6,000 duels total, 300 TDM matches, never played Noob Clan Arena and never played Kovax. A duel in Quake 4 only takes 8 minutes time, and the TDM match takes 10 minutes. Sanchez total time played in FPS genre is around 1100 hours. Even counting time in QC, which was mostly spent in a FK walking around while drinking tea and listening to music and not using any gaming power. Remember, praying to false idols leads us nowhere. A degradation of genre, a degradation of players, a global stupidity and scam. Amos 7 is just a worthless parasite but the reason his scam exists is because of global degradation and stupidity that allows it. Same way as noobs could not see VF Sirius faking his aim stats, and claws faking his rail flicks, 